Hey, Buff Nation, voice of the bus, Mark Johnson here, getting closer to that September 2nd game against TCU. Number one's going to be out there, I guarantee you that. Montana Limonius Craig, receiver for the Buffaloes. How's camp been? It's been very well, very well, man. I feel like we got after it, got a lot of good fundamentals from the coaches in and technique. And, I mean, we just came together more as a team, and we're more of a unit. So I'm looking forward to rolling out with these guys, man. I love each and every one of them like a blood brother, and we're ready to get after it. You know, you had a very nice season a year ago. What did you learn then that took you to the off season to help you elevate your game? The details matter way more than what a lot of people don't think. It's the little things that upset you above the bar, and you just got to apply it each and every day and try to practice like a pro. Is it more mental? Is it more physical? What, what aspect do you focus on? I would say it's both aspects because – Six inches can win or lose you the game. You never know how little something can be and how big something can be. So, I mean, I'll say it's an aspect of both mental and physically. You know, when you've got the speed and you've got the hands, those kind of things. Uh-oh. He's, he's getting – who is that? That's Brady over there? Yeah, Brady Russell's over there heckling uh, receiver. Um, when you've got all the physical skills, when you start talking about those details, it, it's route running, isn't it? It's, it's being precise with the footwork. Is that the kind of thing you're talking about? Yes, sir. Footwork, depth on routes, just knowing – to work your leverages so you don't get outflanked on certain things, attacking the ball, just all aspects of those kind of things. You know, college football is so unique now with the transfer portal. You can have a great turnover. So guys leave the program. That elevates you from, even though you're not a veteran, you're not a junior, senior guy, kind of elevates you with, from a responsibility standpoint, doesn't it, and leadership standpoint. Yes, sir. I mean, in terms of a leadership aspect, I was one of the guys that stayed and bought in with the program. So, I mean, that elevated me on that because I'm one of the guys that stayed in Bunker Down and really riding with the team, ride or die. So, I mean, in terms of the leader-wise, that elevated me. And then playing-wise, I mean, I just constantly work. So, I let that take care of itself. So, tell Buff Nation out there, that, that offense, I know you guys want to be better than what you were a year ago. You need to be better than what you were a year ago. Why is it better in your mind as you're just over a week away from the first game? I feel like we understand it, understand it conceptually a lot better and we're taking more fundamental coaching from the coaches. All right. And you like the offensive system that Mike Sanford's brought in? Oh, yeah. We'll be fine. We're ready to get after it. I love it. How about that first game? What do you think about TCU? Uh, TCU, we coming. I mean, we're not, we're not about to go out there and lay down. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to getting after those guys. It's kind of fun on a Friday night under the lights. There's be a little bit of energy in there, the building, isn't there? Oh, yeah. Folsom, we be rocking. They always pack Folsom. We love the fan base, man. Appreciate y'all, both nation, always showing up and showing out. There we go. Have a great season. Thank you. All right. Number one, Montana, Lamonius, Craig, Buffs, and the Horned Frogs at TCU at Folsom Field on September 2nd.